Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kitten Kitty here, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And you know, today I got a strange contact request on Skype. You know, this is my YouTube Skype. I don't really use it as my personal, only with like a couple of people. And I look at the profile, and it's a girl. Kind of cute girl, I'm not gonna lie. So, I was like, you know, maybe they know me or some shit like that, because she kind of looked familiar. So, I add her on Skype, and I was like, who is this? And then she just goes, hi, like, three days later. Then I go, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. And she said, hey, found you on Skype Messenger directly. I'm recently single and dating sites suck so I figured I'd give this a try winky face so can I ask you something and at this point I knew it was a fucking robot I get them on kick all the time they just like random fucking robots just go to random people and like yo I want to share my nudes with you like one hold on how'd you know I was a boy how'd you know I was into girls I could be a boy into boys or I could have been a girl into boys or I could have been a girl into girls so at this point, I really like to fuck with like these bots and everything like on kick if you say spam They're like, what's that type of meat or some shit like that? So on here, I was like, yeah, what's your question? Go straight into it like no stop signs or red lights or anything just fly straight into it she goes what do you look at more on a girl her butt or her boobs honestly with three questions mark questions marks what question marks and i said i'm actually a girl so and she said i just ask every guy because they have a preference so i was curious what is yours so are you shy or freaky and I was like, I'm fucking freaky. I'm into that handcuff shit. Like, tie me up on my bed. Handcuff me to the heater. Throw away the key. Swallow the key. I don't give a shit. I don't want to be getting out of that shit. I'm fucking freaky. Say that on Skype. She goes, I'm a little bit of a freak, but most girly girls are, right? Then she goes, LOL, gonna log into my cam account so I could send you an invite. Promise not to record me or anything? Now I'm thinking to myself, first of all, if anybody were to think that this is a real girl she's a porn star she's going on to like some kind of cam website where she strips down and everything so she's a porn star not your average girl I could tell you that from personal experience. So I'm thinking to myself, why would I believe that this is a normal girl? First of all, porn stars wouldn't be going onto Skype directory to get a boyfriend. And if you were actually looking for a boyfriend, then you wouldn't just immediately jump into that whole ass or tits thing. And then you, like, after this was literally three minutes after talking to her, she goes straight into the cam account like, yo, I want to send you nudes, let me send you nudes. So then I just go, okay. And she said, you seem like a sweet and normal boy. I trust you. Here's my profile. I'm thinking to myself, first of all, I told you I was a girl, bitch. And you just call me a boy? Does it look like I have a penis? Maybe. But that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm a boy on Skype. So I click the link and immediately it just asks you for your credit card. I'm like, oh my god. God, you could have been a bit more discreet about it. Maybe like, I know this sounds really fucked up, but act like a normal girl for a couple of days and then start leaning into that. Like pull some clever bot shit where like you could have a normal conversation and then all of a sudden it turns like weird and freaky and you're like, oh, I kind of like this. So to all you people that are trying to scam other people with like webcam girls, Skype, kick, whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure I got one from an iMessage too. I thought that I was going to get kidnapped or raped and whatnot. So I blocked that number real quick. And I told everybody my passcode on my phone in case if I go missing, but a message to all of you like kicking, whatever, just one stay away from these scams. Like they're not real. Obviously, probably most girls stay away from them because they're targeted towards boys. And then to the people who are doing these scams, you're fucking stupid. Like, Fuck with people. Talk to them for a couple of days. Talk to them for a couple of months, and then it's believable. Yeah, try that on for size. Really fuck with them. Think that they have a relationship online, but then they actually don't. But I mean, you do you. Sometimes, I guess you get that occasional guy that's like, Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. They're not gonna charge me, right? So, yeah, you do you. Don't fall for this, guys. Just don't. And actually, I think that's where I'm gonna end off the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys have ever gotten scammed or messages like this and of course if you guys like the video leave a like as well but i'll see you in the next one goodbye